On March 13th, 2020, I sat at my desk at City Hall and declared a state of emergency in the city of Frederick. COVID-19 had arrived in Maryland and our community was bracing for what would come next. I don't think anyone could have anticipated what the next 12 months would hold. Since that March day, the city of Frederick has worked in collaboration with Frederick County and its health department, Frederick Health, and other organizations in our community to prioritize the public health response to ensure our community remained as safe as possible. Despite our efforts locally, COVID-19 has had catastrophic effects on countless lives, including a life in my own family. Right alongside the health crisis arrived an economic crisis. Unemployment numbers spiked, families lost their ability to buy basic necessities, the added stress of virtual schooling crushed those who were already struggling. Each day brought something new, testing us in so many ways. So here we are on March 13th, 2021, a year later. I'm not standing here in front of you asking you to forget what the last 12 months have been. Our community's grief must be acknowledged and respected. But I am asking you to look around and look ahead. I've spent many Fridays during the pandemic checking in on business owners in the city. Not all of the conversations were easy, but people were always honest. I continue to be amazed at the commitment of our small and large businesses to this community and their staffs. Their continued ability to innovate and find creative solutions is inspiring. These businesses are building the next story of Frederick. I've communicated with residents and community members who have started new initiatives to support their fellow Fredericktonians, using their talents and passions to be a bright spot during this COVID-19 darkness. Sewing masks, delivering meals, shopping for groceries, hunting for vaccines. Any spare time has been spent on the community's well-being. These individuals are part of Frederick's story. I've talked with many folks in severe doubt that things will ever look up again. And through our services and other nonprofit partnerships have been able to find new avenues of help. These individuals are part of Frederick's story too. Then there are those who have been on the front lines. I want to express my profound gratitude for these essential workers that have stepped up to provide critical services to help protect our communities and save lives sacrificing their own health and safety. Their selflessness is the core of this chapter of our story. While COVID-19 arrived abruptly in Frederick and is still a significant public health concern, I urge everyone to take a moment today to find at least one piece of good. This pandemic pulled and pushed us in so many ways, yet we will only learn from this if we allow ourselves to do so. I am proud of the work we did as a community to get us this far. To ensure we continue on the right path forward, let's recommit to one another, affirming that we will continue to dig in and help one another as more vaccines arrive. The rebuilding after we are all vaccinated won't happen in a day either. It's going to take time and it's going to take all of us. Frederick's story has been forever altered by COVID-19, but it will continue thanks to everyone who makes Frederick, Frederick.